Hey YouTube, um, it's me, Cash Waller again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unclog your Bissell Power Lifter Rewind. If that has any obstruction in the hose or anything, and the length is above, and so I'm going to show you how to unclog your Bissell Power Lifter Rewind. My Bissell Power Force Helix is right over here. I'm going to show you how to unclog your Bissell Power Lifter Rewind. First, let me review all the attachments that's on the Power Lifter Rewind. Um, let me get this turbo brush. It comes with the turbo brush right here. It goes right here. And it has a crevice tool, an extension wand, that's very handy for around the house, and it has a cambo tool, dusty brush upholstery nozzle, and it has this little dust, dusting, long reach wand dusting tool, it, ca it came with the vacuum though, but it, it doesn't store on the vacuum, but I still have it though, I'll go get it and I'll show you what it looks like, I had to pause the video to get this thing, Here's what it looks like right here. It doesn't go on the vacuum because they didn't have any room or any storage to, to place this on this, this vacuum. Huh. Can't speak today. But yeah, here's what it looks like. It has, you can't see it that well, but it has these soft brushes right here where you can sweep like, like little like wooden surfaces. Like, gently woo it down. So that's it. And oh crap. Oh shit. Okay, so I have a broom right here to show you how you can do it. Okay, so this is part one. Probably can't see it that well, but you have to twist this hose off right here, and that all comes out. Put on it. So as you can see, it has this long stretch hose, and you are going to take the broom. There's nothing clogged in here though, but I'm just doing a demonstration to get the vacuum out of the way. You're going to take the broom, and you are going to put it inside the hose right here. going to put it inside the hose and make sure that nothing is clogged. As you can see, there's nothing clogged in there. I'm just showing you a demonstration. Now take the, if there's something clogged in there, it will push the weight of whatever's in there with the, from the broom. Okay, and then after, after you get that unclogged, you're going to twist the hose back on there and turn it to the left. To lock into place. You have to turn it to the left to lock into place. Sorry, it's taking me a little while. Let me get this piece of... Okay. This is getting quite a bit of a challenge here. There we go. Okay. There we go. And step 
number two. You're going to you're going to want to remove the dust cup. You want to press this press this gray button right here to remove it. Son of a nutcracker. There we go. There we go. And you want to remove this yellow filter to clean out clean it out. And as you can see, this is pretty dirty though, but I'll clean it. I'm gonna I've already cleaned it out though, but I'm gonna clean it out a little bit later. And also place the dust cup on back onto the machine. And then you're going to put place the vacuum on the ground firmly. And you're going to see if there's anything wrapped around the roller that will stop the brush roll from running. As you can see there, in, in my power, in my Bissell Power 31, there is a few things stuck in there, but I got it out. There we go. Let me take it. Yeah, that's how to unclog your Bissell power lifter rewind. I'm just showing you how to do it on my Bissell power lifter rewind. And power. Here's my Bissell Power Force Helix. Okay. If you have any questions, just comment. And I will be doing some more reviews on my Bissell Power Force Helix and my Bissell Power Lifter Rewind and my Bissell 3 in 1 Stick Vacuum. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Oh, Bye.